Okay, so welcome. This is our fourth or fifth, maybe I'm losing track now, our live stream from Peacecasters Making Social Media That Matters Camp. The people who you are about to see are young people between the ages of 11 and 17 who have come to this camp with the mission of creating powerful personal messages using social media that inspire change in their communities and their world. They're going to share with you the issues that matter the most to them, along with a graphic representation of the creative media work that they have created over the past three days. So they're going to come here one at a time, and we ask that you listen and hear the messages of change, and hopefully be inspired and feel some of those feelings as they talk about the things that are affecting them and their communities right now. So thank you for tuning in for another live stream with Peacecasters Making Social Media That Matters. Hello, my name is Deshaun, and I go to Wagner. Police brutality is important because a lot of peop a lot of innocent people are killed by police officers. I have witnessed videos of Eric Gardner, Trayvon Martin, and those videos made me feel like there is still racism going on. And it makes me feel sad, scared to interact with police. And I should not feel this way. I want to work to end racism and police brutality. If you see something, request something. Hello, uh, my name is Kevin Mitchell. I'm in the sixth grade. We have a problem with gun violence all over the world, especially here in Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky lawmakers have approved a bill to allow people to carry concealed handguns without a permit or training. This makes me feel scared because we don't know people with intentions. The NRA National Rifle Association says Kentucky will become the 16th state to allow those to carry concealed firearms without a permit. 2018 was the worst year on record. Uh, for gun violence in schools. Instead of killing each other, let's love each other. Peace. Hi, I'm Fatima and I'm 13. Hi, I'm Ali and I'm 14. Oh. <laughs> Our mother, Karina Marias, is an arrogant from Guatemala. She came to the U.S. with a Fulbright scholarship at U of L. Since then, she has been working with victims of domestic violence and sexual assault. Currently, she works at Lagacita Center, a nonprofit organization that provides many things for the Latinx community. At Lagacita, they provide a food pantry, diaper drives, clothes closet, and a soup kitchen for anyone who's in need. She's one of the many immigrants I know that have made a change. Did you know that 46% of immigrants have made, wait, grow our fresh food? Between 2016 and 2019, the foreign-born population increased by 787,000. Immigrants take up 13.7% of the U.S. population. Overall, immigrants help the U.S. and build up the economy greatly. Hello, my name is Anabella Rodriguez. I'm 14 and I was born in Santiago de Cuba, Cuba which is an area that could be greatly popular, uh, that could be greatly affected by climate change. Um, this is this is what I made. Oh my God. Okay, this is what I made, and what this represents is. The ice, our hands, and what we, okay, what I'm trying to complete with this is I'm holding up the penguins and the polar bears, which should be also greatly affected by climate change. What is climate change? Climate change is a change in global or regional climate patterns. Now, you may ask, who could be affected by climate change? And I know a lot of people that say, oh, I'm not going to be affected by climate change because I live in a place where I'm not surrounded by water. That's untrue. Uh, the main people who could be affected by climate change are penguins, polar bears, and humans. And I have this quote here from Michael Spence. We have to go very quickly. We have a window of a very small number of years after which we can build the battle to mitigate fast enough to meet safety goals. If this, year's go if this year goes badly, it could be a massive missed opportunity. Um, so, okay, so things that could happen because of climate change is the amount of ice loss. There has been a 30% of amount, amount of ice loss from Antarctica since 1979. Places that are slash will be affected. Places that are slash will be affected could be really populated places that are great for tourism. An example, Rio de Janeiro and France. Greenhouse gases. The main process of greenhouse gases is the sun emits solar radiation, which greenhouse gases such as methane or CO2, which is carbon dioxide, trap it in the atmosphere, and then the water, aka the ocean, lakes, and ice absorb that and heat it up. Future melting slowing such ice. 
There is an expect it is expected by scientists that 60% of Antar Antarctica snow class ice will melt in the next 10 to 11 years. Ocean acidification. When the atmosphere is overwhelmed with CO2, which is a chemical like which is a chemical like thing, it can be absorbed into the ocean, which will acidificate it. Ocean currents. When big amounts of when big amounts of water drop into the ocean, the ocean currents can be affected. Weather. The heat can also be absorbed into the clouds, which can change the weather patterns. Now, even though there is a bunch of evidence against climate change, there are still some people who decide to not agree. Some people like these are George Will, our very own president, Donald Trump, and these two other people whose names I currently forgot. And I have a quote from George Will, which will be said in a minute. Now, you may think, how can we help? Well, here's how. Here are a few organizations that you can a few national organizations, including Sunrise, which is a lot of members of this program are part of, which is iMatter, NextGen, Climate, and Greenpeace. Hi, I'm Bastian, and I'm 13. Hey, I'm Michael, and I'm also 13. Um, we are here to talk about guilt by association. It means to be blamed for something because of who you hang out with now and in the past. So we have had time after time where this has happened. For example, there was one time where I was assumed a, of assault. This simply was because I was around um, the area. My area. It was assumed that if you hang out at a skate park, you are a hoodlum. Um, so when an incident went down at the skate park, I got there right when it was over, but, but because I was the only one there, or when the police arrived, resulting in my almost getting arrested. Most people would just say, a hey, wrong place, wrong time. It was, it may make sense for this, but for Michael, it was different. In my experience, it was not area, but it was group, the cool kids. That makes Adults think that I'm just another bird of that feather. I think that time, I think there was a time that I got a drink of water, there was a time that I got a drink of water for three minutes after gym. But it was exaggerated to ten minutes. And the jokes, there were jokes about me skipping. She didn't believe me because my friends were being, well, you know, them. And in conclusion, a reputation isn't reliable, reliable. therefore it's a not a reason. Mi nombre es José. Mi vi mi viaje a los Estados Unidos con mi mamá y mi hermano y mi hermana. Okay. Uh, Jose wants to, you to know that he came a long distance from Honduras to Guatemala through Mexico. He landed in in detention in Texas, where he stayed with his family. There were also sections for men and women in the detention center. Then he was taken by car with his mother and sister to another detention, but this was at a prison where there were people who were shackled, and it wasn't as good a place. Then uh, I've, there were some churches in Texas, too, that helped him out his family, and then he got on an airplane from Texas, went to the airport, and came to Louisville, Kentucky, where La Casita helped him, and he found a place to live with his aunt very close to La Casita. Hi, I am Angel, and I have 13 years old. Um, I had to leave Honduras because of m men with guns in every country on the way to the United States. There were men with guns and now even here in Lugo there are too many guns 
No guns, please. Thank you. Hi, I'm Soraya. I go to Dayton Elementary and I'm 11 years old. Hi, I'm Iris. I'm 12 years old and I go to Highland Elementary. We created a short documentary called An Advocate's Voice in order to show the importance of people's voices, whether they will be old or young, and their opinions about issues that affect us. It's time to raise awareness one step at a time. My cause is child abuse. I actually talk, I actually talk about my aspirations and actions taking, taking in order to, to curb child abuse and domestic violence in our film. And we'll talk about a few of the individuals who were interviewed. This is Caitlin. She is 15 years old and goes to Central High School. She created the group MEME, Mental, Emotional, Mindful Encouragement, that lends support, plans positive perspectives, and central students, and, where, and is a place where her classmates can come together. It started right after her, her friend committed suicide. One among many students, like seven, whose death was widely publicized, she decided to take Myers into her own hands by making meme. This is Mark uh, Audrey. She's 18 and goes to DuPont Manual. Um, she is an avid feminist and is also an advocate for gun safety. Don't be fooled by her cheerful demeanor. She's actually a strong and powerful leader uh, that was driven to action about after hearing about the Parkland, Florida shooting. Um, Audrey has also organized a walkout with half, the student, half of the student body at her school, using her position as school newspaper editor to help her and her inner um, sense of justice to lead her. The future is in our hands. Thank you. Hi, my name is Caitlin Price. I'm 15 years old and I go to Central High School. MEME is a group that is constantly growing, achieving a personal goal of mine to create a long-standing place for freedom of expression and a chance to understand your emotions. And to meet new people. MEME is an important group because it provides a chance to, for students to meet new people and learn how to cope and prevent depression. Our logo represents the Central High School Yellow Jackets as well as a puzzle set because Central High School is the first location for MEME and we are all about like a puzzle. We believe every puzzle has a solution and MEME is yours because it is a group to help you solve all of your problems and we want to help you along the way. MEME has over 100 members as of today and we hope to gain more from other places around the world very soon. What does MEME really mean? MEME means Mental, Emotional, Mindful Encouragement because we want to give you encouragement to mentally and emotionally repair yourself and teach you that it's okay to need help. We have a deeper meeting within MEME. Thank you. Okay, thank you everybody so much again for tuning in for our live stream. To find more out about these messages and see in more detail the incredible, diverse, and creative social media pieces created by these young people, you can check out our Instagram at Peacecasters or check us out on Facebook at the Peace Education Program. So thanks for tuning in and make sure that you continue to share and amplify these messages created by young change makers here in Louisville, Kentucky.